Hello friends and uh, welcome. Today I have for you some Chinese fountain pens from my collection. I recently discovered them in a drawer. These fountain pens are from my school years. So from the 19 and beginning of the 1990s. They are not in uh, great shape. I've uh, used some of them. Some of them I think I bought for spare parts. And this will be like a mini series of these fountain pens. I will start with the um, famous school fountain pen. It is the Hero fountain pen. This model was made in China and um, I believe this is from the 1980s. This particular model is a 330 model. I want to talk about the um, interesting history of the Chinese fountain pen industry, particularly of these uh, models. You can see that uh, they have a classic, classic um, shape. Today I have um, uh, this fountain pen and uh, an on this uh, particular model we we don't have the barrel plastic barrel section and the cap but we have the nib on the other model it seems that someone um, took the nib i believe it was a gold nib and they uh, scrapped it for metal what a shame of course in time i will try to put this nib to this model but first let's talk about the history of the chinese fountain pen and um, we don't have many informations but uh, some people on the forum fountain pen network they identified three important periods in the evolution of the fountain pen in China. The first one is that in uh, the 1960s, the Chinese fountain pen industry was much influenced by the control of the precious metals. And practically from 1965, some smaller manufacturers were not allowed to produce gold nibs or gold-plated nibs till the 1980s. The second period is called the standardization period. Practically from 1963 till the 1970s, the Chinese models of phantom pens became more similar, to the point that same components can be used in different manufacturers' pens. And the third period, was called the Great Cultural Revolution, and many fountain pen manufacturers changed their names to reflect the nationalism and the patriotism of their cultural revolution. Back to these models. So when we talk about standardizations, I don't have identification of this model. You can see that on this um, aromatic uh, system uh, this uh, type of converter which is a copy of the Parker 51 we have only made in China and no other identification we have indeed at the grip section this uh, painted um, let's see arrow shaped or racket shape and the same paint is on the burgundy model it's a bit uh, faded away, but I hope you can see it. You can see this practically the same. But in this model, we have Hero 
imprinted on the aromatic type converter. You can see that um, this isn't in a great shape, it's a little bit corroded. The sack is uh, practically dried, so um, it will need uh, to be changed. But in other aspects, I want to show you that the parts are compatible, so I can put the barrel on this green one and uh, you can see it's uh, perfectly um, good. And if I put the cap, let's see, I've made a Franken, little Franken pen with a cap from Hero, this section from another model. I believe also hero and the barrel. This will be a functioning pen. I hope that this works. It certainly isn't like the other model dried, so it's a good sack. I hope uh, it will work. But till then, let's see. Let's try to disassemble this fountain pen. Usually, you can uh, twist this part and open it. Of course, that uh, when you do this for the first time, you have to use um, a heat source because um, it uh, generally is stuck. This is the plastic grip section, we'll put it right here. Here we have the feed and this plastic part. And we have this transparent gripping part. It wasn't cleaned or nothing. And let's see. Yes, this is the part of the sack. Of course, it's uh, ruined. And this is um, the sack. I can push on it, but it's... Um, broken so it will need some um, cleaning and after that uh, maybe I will install a new sack. It is in pretty rough condition so it is what it is. This model, the other model, it has the same um, this has a better sack and it's quite a good sack. Oh, I spoke to some. It is broken. Maybe it needs some um, shellac, some um, adhesive. But I was thinking, where is this part? Where is this part? Maybe it was lost. If I try to unscrew this, it doesn't work, so it's quite uh, well fitted. You can see this nib, this hooded nib, like very similar to the Parker 51. And I think it is a gold nib. I can't tell you for sure, because all the imprints are inside, and I can't reach i can't unscrew it so um maybe i will do a video of this fountain pen being um, let's say cleaned and uh, restored this was my little presentation of this uh, fountain pens they are quite um, interesting models so um I thought I will show them uh, to you. They are not in such a good uh, condition, but um, they were real workhorses for um, the students.
in the 1980s communist countries that um, imported uh, these types of uh, fountain pens from uh, China. They were quite cheap fountain pens, but um, not all of them were of uh, bad quality. In the next episode, um, I will show you my favorite um, fountain pen from China, and it is called the Golden Star fountain pen. You will see that uh, also that pen is in a poor condition, but um, I will show it um, to you as it is, and maybe we will compare with um, this model and uh, see the slight differences in quality between them. Thank you for watching. Mm, let's let's uh, try to do a writing sample with this model. I have here the Parker Quink ink and um, I we will see if it works. This is the first time for me. I don't know if it works. For the writing sample, I will borrow this um, section from the other um, fountain pen, excuse me, yes. Okay, I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is also um, a hero model. Let's see how it uh, works, if it works. We have the... Huh, it works. <laughs> nice one. Okay. We have the Hero 330 model. I believe this is from the 1980s. It is a Chinese fountain pen, so made in China. In China. Being a student fountain pen, I'm not sure if this uh, hooded nib is uh, made of 14 karat gold or it is a steel nib, steel nib only gold plated. I don't know for sure this uh, aspect. I don't think it's a flexi nib, but I will do no. So we don't have no, no flex to it. But uh, as you can see, it writes well. I and, uh, sincerely, I didn't uh, uh, expect this uh, to work. After all these years, no cleaning, no nothing, just sitting in the drawer. I hope you liked my small review of this uh, Chinese cool fountain pen. As always, I wish you to have a nice day. And in the next episode, we will speak of the Golden Star Chinese fountain pen. So stay tuned and thank you for your time.